Sponsored by Salud Beer Shop, located at 3306 North Davidson Street in the Noted District of Charlotte. Check out their huge selection of craft beer in bottles, cans, and growlers, and see what's on tap in the tasting room. Salud Beer Shop. Drink real beer. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina, provide our opinions of them here on our web blog, also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. We recently had a chance to visit with the folks up at Barrel Waters Brewing Company in Waynesville. Uh, they're in Waynesville's oldest business park at 130 Fraser Street. And Barrel Waters says, come experience what happens when passion collides with creativity, a love for making beer and best ingredients. Barrel Waters invites you to come and enjoy our medal winning beers, artfully crafted from English tradition and perfectly blended with American imagination. Our vast variety of styles and flavors have been served on tap from the Blue Ridge Mountains to the Colorado Rockies. Nice. Uh, today we're going to drink the Minorcan Porter out of Bear Waters. We brought home a bottle from when we were up there. And this is Minorcan Porter is described as the world's first chocolate daddle, 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 daddle. daddle beer. And it's a pepper porter. Uh, daddles are similar in strength to habaneros but with a sweeter, fruitier flavor. The story goes that these peppers were brought to St. Augustine, Florida by indentured servants from Minorca, Spain in the Mediterranean in the late 18th century, hence the name of the beer. Uh, the chocolate and the mild heat spice from this beer is wonderful, they say, so we'll see. Uh, we stopped then in Bear Waters after the Beer City Festival in Asheville, and upon arrival we also saw that Bear Waters had a triple on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three bears, triple, Belgian triple, which oh, we didn't even know existed. Peppers. So of course we had to try that, and I'll say that was wonderful. And we fully expect this one to be as well. We've never been disappointed with anything we've had out of no. Kevin and the guys at Bear Waters. And Greg. Yep, and so we're going to see what we got. So what I want to do is talk about the Dattle Peppers. Just oh, wrong that... already, already some heat. Kind of oh yeah. Around. Right. Oh yeah. Well, let me take a sip first, then we'll do the history lesson. Okay. Well, the... He just wants beer. Oh, the chocolatey up front. I mean, I'm just getting the foam mostly, but... Mmm. I mean, that's a lot oh, of chocolate. Yeah. But the heat, and too. And then you got, you got the little heat in the back. Uh, more, maybe more than a little. Well, it's, it's got... It's, you get that little... Actually, the uh, funny thing is... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to differentiate because we have the habaneros that we use with ours, and you get a little tickle here. This one's more like a... It's hit. Like, <laughs> It's more, it's more it's pepper. It, um, for me, it's on right. the top of the back of the mouth, yep. not so low in the throat. So what we have, to give you a little science lesson here, is the heat's registered by Scoville heat units, okay? So, we'll start at the bottom, and we're gonna go up the scale. So regular bell peppers, they rank as zero. There's no heat. No heat, I can to say it shouldn't be on them. Right. So then let's look at banana peppers. Really, you know, Just, it's nothing. Again, so, hardly heat, but right. some flavor. So that's 100 to 900 Scoville heat units. In a, in a banana? In, in, in a banana pepper. Okay. Okay. So then we'll move up to like a poblano pepper. And that's between 1,000 and 2,500. Okay, so now we're 1,000 to 2,500. So now we go to a jalapeno pepper. Okay, so that's got heat to it. Yeah. It's got a little bite. That's 3,500 to 8,000. Okay, so we're still in four digits here. Okay, <laughs> so let's let's jump up a little bit. Okay, cayenne peppers, which are hot, which are hot. That's what they make the hot sauce yeah. out of. Yeah. Well, they have the cayenne for me and they got Tabasco pepper. Yeah, and those are thirty thousand to fifty thousand. Okay, so and, we're five and we digits. started at nine hundred, the yeah. low the low end. Yeah, right. so we're five digits here. So we take another jump. Let's go up even higher. We're going to go to the habanero pepper, the daddle pepper. Uh, the Jamaican hot pepper, those are 100,000 to 350,000 Scoville heat units. And I guess it depends on where they grow, which pepper you get, but what region, still, but that range. 350,000. Right. So now we're going to jump again. We're going to go even higher. So this is co covering the ghost peppers, which used to be the world record for yeah, you hear the you hottest. Used to be told they were the hottest pepper you could drink. Yep, the Trinidad scorpion butch tea pepper okay that's at 
855,000 to 1 million 500. Okay? Right. So now that's not hot enough. From South Carolina comes the Carolina Reaper. Okay. Okay. That is registered as the world's hottest pepper. The Carolina Reaper. Yep. It was developed in Fort Hill, uh, South Carolina. Yeah. And it's at 2 million to 202,000 Scoville heat units. And it just squeaked out over the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion pepper. So. You're going from 2,200,000 as the super hottest, and we're just doing this little pepper at uh, 100,000 uh, 100, to 350,000. Okay. So wow. wherever you are on the pepper range, you probably can find a beer with, I don't know about bell oh. peppers, but once you get into so, a real pepper. Yeah, but you can see it nice. So you, now you get the level of heat. Right. And so, this one does come through, as we said, there, there's, this is, more hot, oh. not just the sensation. You do feel the pepper on the, not I'm, so much I'm, on the tongue for me, but no, on it's the in back. the back. It's, it's, it's the in the back. back of your mouth. Right. That little little heat bite, but the chocolate in this is so awesome. I and so smooth. Even, I just even love even that. that chocolatey flavor. And I don't find the heat. Now we've only got one yeah, bottle. It's not I don't know about it building up, but I don't feel it well, with half a glass. I don't, I don't think it's a session beer. No, 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 but I also is, don't think it's one that if you had two or the whole bottle, yeah, I don't, that you would be regretting it as it got more no, and more. I heat. mean, if you chugged it down, you'd feel it more. But if you're just drinking it casually, I think this is. And what's the ABV awesome. speaking of chugging it down? Is it on the bottle? Because I didn't see it anywhere. Well, let me see. Okay, government warning. No, and don't forget <laughs> this was a this was a collaborative. Oh, I don't think I you forgot about I did that. Forget one. about that with. Who? With Asheville Brewing Company. Okay, that's right. We didn't know. We got told that, but I didn't see it today in the research. So, um, and the ABV is just not on the bottle. It's not on the bottle. But yes, this is done. So, not only and, is Bear Ward is incredible, but Asheville Brewing Company is credible too. Well, they're incredible anyway. So, I mean, you've got an awesome beer collaboration. I love that. And you won't find many of the Bear Ward no. products in bottles. Uh, we got this one, like I said, from the it, brewery. The brewery itself. And you go in there, so what? You go down to the brewery and get it. That's right. <laughs> but otherwise, if you do happen to see one out and about, if some special bottle shop has made the effort to go and get some, yeah. pick it up because yep. it'll be fairly unique and, and you will appreciate this. And this chocolate this is just fantastic Gorf. on top of this pepper. Yep. And that's frankly the two sensations you get. And they've added vanilla too. In this. Mm -hmm. I don't get the vanilla at all, I don't think. In 1774, the Menorcan people arrived in St. Augustine, Florida with a precious pepper known as the Daddle. Now, revered, as you said that, the aroma may be some of vanilla. The re revered for its unique flavor, we blended it with rich, smooth sweetness of local chocolate and whole vanilla bean to craft this historic porter. Brewed for you by the creative minds at Asheville Brewing Company and Bear Waters Brewing Company. Boom. Very good. Very, Very good. good. I love it. You need to try this one. It's real unique. Yep. Uh, if, you, if you're going to make the effort to drink something everybody else hadn't had, this is one to put on your list. Remember the heat units. <laughs> yes, right. You've had your lesson for the day. That's You've right. been educated about beer, so you're not just screwing around, killing time on the internet. That's right. You have acquired new knowledge. Yep. Beer knowledge. That's right. For the NC Beer Guys, remember, until next time, drink local, keep your beer dogs North Carolina, and we'll catch you later, guys. <laughs>